Right, <coughs> today's recipe is going to be another lockdown edition. So this is me cooking something from whatever I've got in the pantry, in the fridge, um, not going out to, to buy anything. So we're going to make Lancashire hot pot and it's going to be slightly different. We'll be using rump steak instead of lamb. Um, and we're going to put some different vegetables in there. We've got some butternut squash here. We've got some carrots. We've got some green beans, some peas. I've got no onions, so we're just going to put a bit of garlic in there for that side of things. And then um, we're going to use some beef stock and a bit of Worcester, sh Worcester sauce. Uh, and then we're going to layer it with some potatoes um, and pop, pop it in the oven. So um, let's get standby for the first bit which is the garlic and uh, the rump steak. Right that's the rump steak all cut up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to brown that. So we just have a bit of a lug of olive oil here and then we'll add our garlic and once I've um, got the garlic a little bit golden we'll pop the um, rump steak in there and we'll come back and show you that once I've finished. Right that's um, all nicely browned now that meat um, we're going to add to that now a nice couple of dollops of whole grain mustard a good two tablespoons of Worcester sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Um, what else, John? Right, yes, and the beef stock. 500 mils. In she goes. Then in with our butternut squash and with our carrots. In with our peas and beans. Give that a bit of a, a stir up. Now we're going to put this back on the heat on the stove until we get to boiling point and then I will transfer it into a tray and we're going to slice potatoes to put on top of it and then on top of that we'll put some lovely fresh thyme. Right, I'll come back to you very soon. Right, and now we've um, sliced those potatoes on top of our mixture of meats and uh, beef stock and uh, rump steak, um, butternut squash, carrots, green beans and peas. Um, I'll put all the ingredients in the description box underneath the video anyway so you won't be lost there. We're going to pop this in the oven and we'll come back and see what it looks like and it's all nice and golden brown. It'll probably be around about an hour to an hour and a quarter. All right, see you, see you soon. And there we have it. We've pulled that out of the oven after about an hour. What you can do is just press this top layer down a bit, then pop it in the oven for a further half hour 
and it'll all be right. So there you have it, Lancashire Hot Pot, my version of it anyway, all ready to eat. Right, catch you on the next recipe.